this is my first um, open feed tomato cultivation after my last program after the course I took um, open feed remember that um, I did in house that I have got this one I don't know if you can see closely that are uh, greenhouse cultivation and this is my open feed cultivation I did it close the greenhouse so that I can be able to monitor it very closely from here to here I have um Roman metals um, from to here I have beef stick so right I have varieties of tomatoes and I have to check closely it grows and everything pertains to different varieties so I can be able to give a valid judgment on which is best or which one I prefer or which one I could teach you or tell you to do depending on your education and um your space or anything like that so i just want to master this so much so that i can know a lot about it so as time goes on i'm going to be showing you how these babies are doing i actually did a transplanting this morning very early about 6 50 something um i couldn't video myself because i was only here soon but don't worry as time proceeds we'll be doing more often so stick with me probably weekly i'm going to be taking some video shots of how he's doing As you can see he's looking very healthy look at that he's very very healthy like it has outgrown the nursery honestly so once you plant your seeds between four to five days it's going to be ready and when it germinates once there's up to five leaves that's the first leaf. These two is the first leaf. They call it the false leaf. Then these other ones are the true leaves. So once it adds up to five true leaves, it means your tomato is ready for transplanting. So that's exactly what I did. And this is where we are. These things I used is mushroom. Oh, sorry. It's called a mulch. The inside, I added manure, chicken poo, um, chicken manure and left it for like three weeks then i allowed rain to i allowed it to rain and i think twice yes two times rain fell on it and then i added this mulch this is organic mulch it's just grass if you have lemon grass it's better but this is bamboo on and then um the reason why i put mulch is because i want my soil to be very fertile aside the manual i'm doing organic i'm not going to spray any chemical here so it's purely organic so i'm gathering all the things that i need to spray on it and one of the things that's going to help me is this mulch that's why i put mulch to protect the crop and also to help um um, make the soil fertile in the sense that as it breaks down it adds nutrients to the soil and it protects your crop also then what else help i'm not forgetting anything i'm not forgetting anything um yeah okay for um pesticide i made neem water and um, i'm going to do neem oil later then um, i have some um, fertilizers i used on banana banana peels i just cut them put them in water so name i just bought the goyaro leaves and poured the water away inside bottle rather and store so when it's time for spraying i just spray them on it and we are good so i'm not adding any chemicals so i have to make sure that i protect them with everything that they need that this one is bending to straighten it uh, I don't know why this one is small. <laughs> they are all the same height, too. the same age rather. But this one is small. You see, <laughs> only human beings. It happens in plants also. All right, so guys, thank you for staying with me. Look forward to having more of you. Bye.